how to add a payment method to Amazon affiliate account. Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today we're going to talk about something super important for everyone who's part of the Amazon Associates program, which is setting up your payment method. Without this crucial step, even if you're making commissions, Amazon won't be able to send you your earnings. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to add a payment method to your Amazon affiliate account while I do it on my screen so you can follow along easily. I'll also point out some important tips by the end of this video that you can save you from your future payment issues. So let's start off with a brief idea of what Amazon Affiliates Associate Program is. Amazon's Associate is Amazon's official affiliate marketing program. It allows you to promote Amazon products and earn a commission on every sale that happens through your link. But to actually get that money going in your system, you need to have your payments set up properly inside your Associates dashboard. There are multiple different options depending on your country like direct deposits, Amazon gift cards, or even checks but today i'll show you the most common and fastest method which is on bank deposit so first things first head over to affiliate slash program dot amazon dot com and this is the official login page for amazon associates you're gonna click on sign up big blue yellow button over here and log in with your amazon account that's tied to your affiliate profile so you are gonna, the very first thing that it asks you is the payee name, which is the exact name which should appear up on your check. Enter in your city, your province, your basic details and click on next. Then you're gonna head over with the website and mobile app list. If you have filled this one, you can enter in your website and enter in your mobile stuff. Let's get a random website from here. Let's get a random website for it. This one is a random one. We're just going to simply copy it and paste it. Keep in mind, you don't exactly have to do this. You will have to enter in your website and then we click on next. Are there any traffic sources? We are going to say no and then we're going to click on confirm. This is where you're going to be setting up your profile. What is your preferred associate store ID? You're going to also tell them about the content you're going to create. For example, maybe mobile apps, Alexa skills. We're going to talk about health and fitness. Which one of it describes? We're going to be having a blog. So we're going to click on that and select how do we hear us from Amazon website. We are going to type this one exactly. Let's try a different image because then we agree to the terms and conditions of the associate programs and we're going to click on finish. For the sake of this video, exemplary reason, we're just going to add that. And then we're going to click on finish. So, okay, this is our store's uh, associate ID, which is 12345036 b You might need to occasionally provide this, so you're going to have to keep the save and keep it copied. You can enter in your payment and tax information. Okay, so in you can actually do that by heading over to your account settings from the email address it's showing click on it on the dropbox menu you can either do that from there like here or else we can just set it up later or now we're gonna click on later but if you want to set it up now you will need to head over to the now section enter in your password sign in and with that it's gonna have a two-factor authentication you're gonna fill that up and they're gonna send you an OTP exactly right here. Okay, so now that we have it all set up, this is our dashboard where you can track in your earnings, your overviews, and have a recap of what we're doing with our affiliates program. Now to head over and to click on to changing the payment method, we're gonna head over to our account, our settings. We're gonna head over to this account settings, and we're gonna find that section that talks about payments and tax information. We're gonna click on change payment method. You see how intuitive this is? Over here, we're gonna go ahead and click it. We're gonna enter in the two-factor authentication verification step. Once that is done, you're gonna simply change your payment method. So now once you click on change payment method over here, it's gonna take you to this big place where you are gonna be showing up all your payment methods that you have. You're gonna be, let's just say, you can only withdraw money that is up to a minimum of $10. You're gonna select your bank location. Here, for example, we set it to US. We're gonna select your bank currency see your account type, enter in your account holder's name, your account number, your bank name, your ABA name, routing number, and then you're going to confirm your account number once again. Make sure that you give up all of these informations pretty accurately because if not, it's going to cause you delays and cause you further bluffing issues that you're not going to like. Then next, you will also have to choose your preferred payment option. Now for the payment option that you have, you can do that from here too. You can either choose 
choose it to direct deposit on the bank like we explained here or you can choose to have an Amazon gift card and sometimes even check it over by mail. But these both options are very uh, much suited to only people in the US, other countries might only offer you direct deposit to a bank account. But so far, the fastest and most convenient and reliable one is the one that is direct deposit. I mean, you're straight getting your uh, money into your bank account once you reach a minimum payout threshold. After filling up your bank details, you're going to ensure that your SWIFT code or IBAN or whatever your bank calls it is available online through your bank's official website. Then next, you're just simply going to confirm and save your payment method. After entering up all your details, you're going to click submit. Amazon might ask you to confirm your payment methods. I have already entered my payment method, so it asks me to confirm it by this two-factor verification where you can verify it by your phone number, entering your phone number and get a confirmation message saying that your payment method has been successfully updated. So let's just say you've been promoting Amazon products on your blog or your YouTube channel or even on social media. And suddenly you checked out your Amazon dashboard and realize you've earned your first 50. Woohoo! So if you have not set up a payment method, that money would just sit there having nothing to do. So set up your uh, affiliate payment methods to ensure that you do not leave your hard-earned commissions stuck inside Amazon forever. The greatest pro that you have is the direct deposit and its speed. You usually would get your money by somewhere around 60 days of you starting it off. That's how it would work in your home let's like i have nothing going on but if you do you will have it showing up right here if you have good clicks good conversion it's going to be showing up here but yeah there are no additional fees or international users so for that purpose this is a very specific reason i recommend you to using and setting up the direct deposit all right everybody thank you so much for sticking around till the end i hope this tutorial helped you out so whether if you're just getting started with this or if you're just trying to sharpen up your skills i hope if you found it useful either way definitely leave a like it really helps push the video out to more people who might be stuck on the same thing i mean you know how the algorithm works and if you're serious about leveling up your skills don't forget to subscribe because i keep dropping tutorials walkthroughs and real world tips every single week and i always keep it practical and beginner friendly also if something was not clear or if you run into a roadblock following the steps feel free to leave a comment down below i check the comment section pretty often and i try to reply to or at least point you in the right direction when I can. Helping each other is honestly how this whole community grows stronger, so do not hesitate to ask. If you want extra resources like templates, code snippets, or maybe some tips and guides, check out the description below. I always leave important links so you don't have to waste time searching for stuff. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, we really appreciate your time. More tutorials are already lined up, so stay tuned, stay curious, and as always, keep building, keep learning, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.